Hello and welcome Crystal Souls. On this new picky card today we're going to talk about your love life and this is your last single reading. So to pick we have three pals available for today. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. You can take your time and meditate on the cards and then when you're ready find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. So let's meditate together and breathe in. Feel the love, relax and breathe out. And choose the one calling you. Group number one, let's see what is coming for you with your love life and what can you expect as a single lady or boy. <laughs> so what I see here is somebody stepping in and the one that is meant to be with you is going to be a soulmate. You can see this bond, this time of celebration. This is very magical when you guys will be together. And with this scene, I can get that this moment of encounter or just while being together, it will feel magical. You can see the fireworks, maybe that's a time around fireworks time celebration i especially think of the 4th of july or 14th of july if you live in france for example but that's really the time of celebration i see when meeting a person so july can be the time when you guys will be starting dating maybe that's a sign and i see someone very gentle with you so this could be your first time to be intimate um, and on this card, it's like reassuring yourself that yes, your person is going to be very gentle with you and wanting you to feel very comfortable, respected, and especially when you guys will be more intimate. But here you're attracting a soulmate, so <laughs> we're not playing around. You're attracting a destiny when it comes to love. So let's see more about this dynamic between you two and your relationship together. Let's see the future. Ooh, okay. Honestly, this is really K-drama-like or, you know, some type of series where you have the cliff anger. Something happens and dan 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 and you don't know what's happening next. So perhaps this is gonna be the feeling in that connection or when bonding with this person, it's like you cannot predict what will come next. You cannot predict, you know, what is offered to you next or something like that. So I see some type of mystery attached to your soulmate or the soulmate bond and connection. So to be continued really shows, okay, there's something as a plus that will come. You might not know now, but you will know when the time is right. And so you can celebrate that time together. With the reassuring rose, I see someone very grounded, also wanting you to feel safe in the relationship. They are ready to commit. We have number four, which is stability. And 12 itself can talk about a new loving beginning because one presents newness and number two connects to unity but you have to know this one is the hanged man as the tarot card so this can be some type of attachment to your soulmate but i think i think this connects to the tie that links the two of you you know the hang that you are holding on to this tie you're holding on to so this could be representing that type of thing and this is why you guys are expected something as a plus in that connection something to be continued but like i said stability is going to be offered to you this person will reassure yourself and it's funny because we started like that I'll be gentle so you can feel reassured, you can feel safe and comfortable around your person. I feel like you're attracting a gentleman or a gentle lady that's just here to make you feel your best. And in the moment, this is what we can see here. So connecting with the person in the moment, you can see the two of you ready to give your rose to your soulmate, which is a representation of giving your love, choosing the other person. So yes, love is coming for you and you guys are ready for that one, for that relationship. This one is the Hermit in Tarot. So this could be telling you, look, you've been alone, single for a little while, but prepare yourself because a tie is leading you towards your soulmate that will reassure yourself and be gentle with you because they honor you, they celebrate you and they want you to feel your very best in the connection. So you're attracting somebody who is just very very loving like for sure very loving and someone that will make you feel your very best and intimacy is gonna be crazy i mean we started with this moment of intimacy so fantasies is what this person actually thinks um, when it comes to you know you spending time together or when 
maybe before going to bed they may just fantasize about the moment you spend together skin to skin moment you can see them in the hot tub together skin to skin so it's, it's possibly the future for you guys, just traveling, enjoying your time together, connecting and bonding with your intimacy. That's what I see. And by the way, this is a new deck I designed. So if you guys are interested about this one, you can find it down below. And daydreams, I mean, fantasies, daydreams, this is so connected. So yes, your soulmate thinks about you, your soulmate feels a connection with you. And when you guys will meet with each other, you will also feel the attraction. You will also think of your person all the time and fantasize, but also daydream about them. And that is just because you always have that residual energy, you know, within you about your soulmate will eat you like nothing else before. Their words are gonna be, you know, something very potent for you or something that's quite magnetic. So you may just think about them or the things they said, the things they do, the way they look. But same for this person. This person is fully obsessed. Maybe this is why the spiral is kind of showing up like, I am obsessed with you. I'm hypnotized, mesmerized by you. So you can feel the same way. That's why the attraction is quite crazy with this soulmate. So let's see what to expect. Oh, no, not this deck, sorry. So let's see more about their personality first. So speak their mind they do speak their mind and perfect spouse perhaps this is why you picked this one you feel i want the one i want my soulmate i want commitment i want stability and i also want to get married to somebody that you know i feel a connection with and trust me you're going to feel that with your person but they're going to be very blunt and honest if something bothers them, they'll talk about it. If something is, you know, what they like, they will talk about it too. They're just very transparent and they love to just express how they feel um, and speak what's on their mind. But you can see this is someone you can perceive building a future with, getting married to, because the attraction and, you know, that tie is a bond that you cannot deny. This is something that's very strong. It's like a magnet and this brings the two of you together. So if you want to get married, this could be the possibility with your person. If you don't want to get married, it's fine. Just take what resonates with you and what you want. But let's see more about your love life together. I want you. I mean, <laughs> you can see that. Fantasies. I'll be gentle. I want to. But of course, that can be the, the fact that this person is choosing you. They want you. Oh my, okay. <laughs> Let me pick the other one. Because look, we have role play. So, okay, the spiciness between you two is something else. Um, so they want to, they want to have fun with you in bed or elsewhere, but Roleplay can be something they like, especially. That could be something spicy they're looking to do with you. So if you're down for that, they might be very excited. So let's see messages. What this person wants to say to you. I was not expecting this reading to be this spicy. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm afraid I may fall deeply in love with you. They are, they are falling in love with you and obviously because you guys are soulmates and that's a love you cannot resist. I'll do better, I promise. So that's someone who is, who is well aware that, you know, you need a lot of things. You need comfort, respect, um, to be noticed, to spend time with, like they need to show up and they know they need to do better and become better and you might be the one who is teaching them not in a way that they don't know how to love you or else, but you will teach them a plus or things that you like. So opening up with that thing or these things um, and open communication is going to be key to make that relationship enjoyable for the two of you. So I'll do better, I promise, and I'm afraid I may fall deeply in love with you. So I'm going to put these on the side and we'll continue. With the grid, so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. So, so far we had, with the hermit, we have Virgo. This one, there's no one attached to it. And mirrors is air sign. But let's see. Any specific zodiac sign for 
group number one. So we have Cancer, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Let's see next. Letters and words. So we can see here perhaps a name, a place appearing, some type of hints for you guys. So let's see. Ooh, we have the sea. <laughs> so perhaps that's a place where you guys will be meeting or where they live, for example. Leo. So they could be a Leo or it could be their name. Love. When. Fallow. An. Capricorn was bobbing. So that's confirming the energy. China is a place. I see LA. I thought of Seattle. So it could be. Let's see. Lie. So lies are going to be something this person really doesn't like. Honesty is key. And you could see that with the card. This was really showing honesty, respect, honoring each other. So lies, no, no. Seal. Set. Maybe role play and set can be acting. So they could be one actor. Leah, Liz, Lisa, I thought of the internet or someone introverted, we have T, they can be a T person, oh we have Los, I mean we had LA so Los Angeles, or Las Vegas, but something can pop um, like as a hint for you. Perhaps you can see the initials of your person. Perhaps you can see a place. Tell. Mm, that's so far what I can see. Let's pick next some stickers for you guys. They can have a tattoo because we have the tattoo sticker. And you can indeed, indeed start to date around summertime with the ice cream. That's always the sign I get. So, yes. Tattoo. The anchor can also be a symbol. The anchor is about sticking to each other, building together. Look at that. We have marriage again. I love you. You can see these two lovebirds. You know, it's kind of like the... Um, the little figures you can see on the cake for the birthday. So... <laughs> Here you can see you attracting the best person for you. With the dog, I see someone very loving, uh, very social too, but especially someone who wants fidelity. They could be a gamer or this could be the game of love, starting between you two, being happy around each other. And if you smile a lot while exchanging or just being around your person, that's a sign you feel good. That's a sign it's a good connection. We have the astronaut. I see this person exploring. So perhaps traveling a lot or it could be traveling to you or wanting to spend more time with you. They send you love. Carpet gem sees the day, boys. And here I see someone who have an inner child that's really, really awakened. But because we can't see the horse, I see speed. So you guys will be meeting quickly. I feel like whenever you're watching this, this could be around few weeks, I heard, few weeks, but especially I see summer for you. So if you plan to be traveling, perhaps with the astronaut, that's a sign, traveling to a certain place, you can be meeting your lover out there, or you can be traveling to each other, could be just a symbol. But again, I see speed and momentum with the connection. So this is a reading, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to claim this beautiful energy, this beautiful love in the comments. Follow, subscribe if you're new. Join the beautiful family. If you want some personal guidance, the tools, the cards I use, everything is linked down below, so check it out. And I'll see you guys on my next wedding. Check my other ones while you wait for me and take good care of you. Bye-bye. Group number two, let's see what will come for you when it comes to love, 
Are your single days over? So first, I see someone stepping in. They might just invite themselves, visit you at your own place, or they may just want to invite you to have dinner together or lunch together. But I see food as a bond or connection or some type of code as like, I am interested about you, I want to spend some time with you and have a good meal together. So can I come in? And this can be your sign itself. Can I be with you? Are you ready to date? Can I come into your life? Can we be part of it? So it's up to you, but I feel this is the invitation that you needed to hear or needed to know because this will come fast. This person will show, look, I am interested. I want to spend time with you. I feel a connection with you. So can I come in? Can we be part of your life? <laughs> so let's see, wave the tarot cards. What can you expect? as a future together keep it chill okay we have the empress aka the bachelorette in this deck ace of roses so this is actually the start of a passionate loving relationship and shoulder to cry on so what i see is possibly someone who is in your life as a pillar someone who wants you to feel your very best and if you don't feel your very best they're going to be someone you can really open up to so i see a confident i see someone you will feel very comfortable to talk about everything good things but also you know, things that can be a bit more emotional with shoulder to cry on. Number 10 talks about completion. So I see someone who wants you to feel whole, who wants you to feel complete, who wants you to feel liberated and freed from anything torturing you. That's why they might just pop and you know offer you something you like so your favorite food for example or just something that you find um valuable or something that just makes you feel a lot better they will notice that rather it's like going shopping together it could be some type of food you like could be a song that you enjoy you know that can just be little attentions like that but i see this person paying close attention to you know what could make you feel your very best Keep it chill is really a card telling you your wishes will come true. Anything that you picture and visualize with a certain person, so if you have a crush with the, you know, the hearts, with the sunglasses, if you have somebody that you target and that you see as the lover for you, as the one for you, then your wishes will come true. But keep it chill. Don't pressure the flow. Don't be desperate about it. No, it is all yours already. You don't have to chase it. So this will manifest faster. That's the way. But if you feel desperate about somebody, you're craving for that body, for that body, for that person, for that somebody I was meant to say. Uh, but maybe you crave for this person's body too. Who knows? Because I see a passionate relationship. But anyways, so what I see is, yes, if you feel the attraction, you will get that. You'll get that person. But keep it chill, you know? <laughs> keep it chill. Even for the body. <laughs> anyways, so with the Empress, what I see is true love. You guys are meant to offer each other your heart, your rose. And the rose itself is a symbol offering your love to the other person. And you can see the first impression rose. So what I see is possibly a first date. Perhaps this was a first date or first encounter, going for a meal together. But I see the attraction as something quite crazy that you cannot resist and your first impression on this person is going to be so strong that of course you want to give your love to them but that is going to be the same thing for this person this person feels so much love and attraction towards you and with the empress this talks about beauty someone who is charismatic and just effortlessly beautiful that you feel hypnotized by because they look so good. So anything like body type or hairstyle or hair color, whatever that is, traits like that, you'll find in your person. And pay attention to the cards because they can show you, for example, a style or just the appearance of your future person but what i see here is a new loving relationship starting because you guys you guys feel the connection you want to be together you complete each other support each other and you feel like that's the one i want 
but also you feel so much attraction because they look so beautiful. And not just looking beautiful, their aura, their energy, their presence. There's something so attractive about this person. So let's see more about this deck. And this one is a new one I designed. So if you want this one, you can find it down below. Okay, so let's see counterparts okay so you guys are indeed meant to be this is possibly why you feel so much you know comforting energy mom dad energy and i'm saying that because the empress or emperor are really the dad and mother figure but here you can see counterparts it's kind of like the veil is finally showing up who is the one for you even the windows appearing here can show this aspect of a vision. If you have a vision, if you dream of somebody repeatedly, this could be the one. So make sure to pay attention to your dreams because they will show you who is your counterpart. So a counterpart can be a soulmate, could be a twin flame. This is just your destiny, someone that completes you, someone that communicates something that you know connects to your soul's love language. So you're attracting this person into your life the veil is removed and you are seeing possibly for the first time who that person could be or who that person is but if you have your eyes on them you knew this was the one then we have an expected unexpected meeting so they can show up unexpectedly and surprise you i could see that with the first card and i'm sure you know this person tends to well you will know in the future, this person tends to just appear at the perfect timing, because we have the clock here, and just show you, I am here for you, like, I think about you, and I show up, I show up, because I want to meet you, I want to spend more time with you, so you can expect meetings, but if, for example, you go to, let's say, a party, or some type of celebration, or perhaps um, a restaurant, because I see a drink, so perhaps a future drink or having a drink together or a meal together is really the, the sign I'm getting for this group. So you can meet while going to these places with a friend or even solo. But yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. So you are attracting your future spouse. Someone you are meant to marry. Someone you are meant to commit to. If not marrying... If you're too young, you are attracting someone you want to stick to, you want to grow with. And this is the person you wish to be with, you know? Even this can be the wheels. So wheels can actually relate to marriage. And it's funny because on the first pile, we had marriage too and soulmate energy. So I don't know, but perhaps these two are connected. And if you felt attracted by group number one and group number two, I can see some connections with the messages. But for you, you're attracting someone special that communicates love to your soul. But also you'll feel that's the one I want to be around. That's the one I want to grow with because I feel at home. I feel so much connection with this future person. And I saw 8-8 eight, eight at the same time. So 8-8 eight, eight can be a symbol you see for infinite, soulmates, destiny. So yes, it is very connected. So let's see personality traits. Pure. And it's beautiful because even here you can see the veil. So that again is very connected to this future spouse. <laughs> and even the dresses they wear, you know? So... Yes. And you're attracting someone friendly as well. So very social. They could be um, on social media too because we have these two on the phone. So it could be a sign that this person is very social on the phone or just showing up as someone very friendly, always calling you, DMing you, always showing up. Now, because we have 30, 30 is a velocity that's very slow. So taking things slow is what I see for the two of you to make it work. They may just present themselves as a supporter, a confident, and then they will tell you, you know what, I love you actually. And so you will, you'll be starting dating. But I'm sure you'll feel the connection, the bond, love, like this love bond right away. But at first, this can be starting as a friend type of connection and then evolve into love. But you're attracting someone with pure intentions towards you, who is caring and very friendly as well. So let's see more about your love life together. 
Okay, again, the meeting and we have home cooked meal and we had a lot of meals, drinks <laughs> appearing. So I think that is just confirming what we saw on the reading, really. So home cooked meal, we're bringing some type of meal at your place and eating together and a meeting, even that gate is opened. So it's kind of like the veil was removed and so you can see, okay, I need to step in, I need to connect more with this person because I feel the connection and I feel like we are meant to be. So it's time for us to meet, it's time for us to spend more time together. So meeting and home cooked meal. And for example, if they drive to your place, if you live a bit afar, they can be wanting to cook something or you can be the one cooking something for them and they will be meeting you at your own place. Because I see they will show up at your place. I'm not sure for the first date, but they will show up later on. So I see messages. What your person wants to say to you at the moment. <laughs> I mean, th this is making me crazy because everything I say is always confirmed with the other cards. So you can confide in me. And I told you, you're attracting a confidence, someone you can really open up to. So yes, and that is just confirming by your person. And I saw 11, 11 while saying that. So it could be a soulmate, could be someone that is divinely guided to you. And actually 11, 11 is a wish coming true sign. Again, confirmation. This group is something different, like for sure. I was not expecting it, but this is quite magical. So you can confide in me. You can trust this person fully. And you can see she's a bit sad or possibly something is bothering her. But he's like, it's okay, I'm gonna give you time and then when you feel like opening up, talk to me. So let's see more messages. what your person wants to say to you. You've been on my mind all day. I mean, and they possibly target you and, you know, always, you know, think about you. So you've been, I was supposed to say, I have been. You have been on my mind all day. There's so much craving, especially from the masculine. The masculine is like, I see you, I show up, I want to be here for you, I feel the connection with you, I want to meet up again and again and again, you know, I want to text you and call you and here it's like, I'm just craving for you, I just want to be around you. So of course, you own this person's mind all day long. So let's continue, I'm gonna put these on the side. And let's see, their zodiac sign. So, so far we had fire, Aquarius, fire again and Aries. So Aries sign. But let's see with the grid what we can get as zodiac signs or seasons. Taurus, I love how they just, you know, all grouped together, sticking to each other. So Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Aries, again Pisces, Sagittarius and Scorpio. So let's see next some letters and words. So here you can see a name, initials, a place, a code and message. Let's see what comes out. Again, star. <laughs> and of course, if not, um, like there could be a star seed, there could be a star, there could be someone popular, there could be someone you see as the one, that inspiration, or someone that is indeed connected to you because it's written in the stars for you. So I see destiny. CEO, they could be a boss. And actually, if we kind of transfer empress into emperor energy, actually, the emperor is the entrepreneur, CEO, boss, the one who is a leader. So this could connect with the masculine energy. So Aquarius, Aries, and Libra. So let's start with letters. Let's see if we can see anything. Eagle is what I heard. Wait a second, how do you write it again? No, it's like that. Eagle. I see ego too. So they can have a bit of an ego. California is showing up. I heard Venice.
I see dog in Portuguese. So the dog is a representation of um, of fidelity, fidelity, social, extroverted energy. I see Vogue, so perhaps Vogue is really someone who is trendy, who is very attractive, who has a beautiful style. Voice, so they can have a beautiful voice or charming voice. Oh, we have give, so you're attracting a giver. A choice as well. Maybe there's a choice to make. Choice to make to find this person or to be with this person. I keep on hearing voyage, so it could be some type of trip. We have ice. That's so far what I can see for the letters. So star, smile, smiling could be the code. Live or life, China, Y, heart, or a. Uh. Oh, and I think we had a giver, right? So it could be giver, I see, with Y. I'm not sure if you can see it because that's quite far, but you can zoom now on YouTube, which is a good thing. <laughs> so you can zoom in, so you can, you know, on the phone especially, you can do that. Um, Oh, I see IV too. IV. Yes, that's pretty much what I can see. But we had a lot of hints already. So let's make some stickers for you guys. Love, okay. <laughs> I love that this is the first one that popped. So this is true love indeed. Between you two. So I see a trip again, you know, packing the suitcase, walking happily, like, let's go on a vacation. It's really the vibe. It's okay. And you could see someone you could open up about your feelings or emotions. Love. So that's a loving connection. Masking tape. And we have the heart again. Here, do you want to face a life? And you can choose. I just believe this person will help you to face life, to face challenges. Be a nice human, time to shine. Say hello. So and we and we saw DMs, contact, chatting with each other. So that again is very connected. And here I see especially decor. So they can have a passion for decors, or perhaps their place is gonna be really, really well decored, or they have a style about them. If not, the core could be the fashion too. But these are all the hints I can get for you guys and the love that's entering your life right now. So claim this beautiful one in the comments. Join the beautiful family if you're new. For personal guidance, the tools I use, the cards that you saw, everything is linked down below. And yes, if you want, you can check my other readings while you wait for me. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye. Group number three, let's see what is coming for you. Love related, what can you expect as a single? So we have Promise Me as the first card. So this is really setting the mood. We're starting big and strong. I want to promise you something or we promised something. I'm sure you, you know where this is going. But I see a soul promise to be together, to find each other, to date. But this can also be if you've met somebody and made a promise to each other. This can just be a hint for you guys. It's like there's something indeed that connects the two of you and that pulls the two of you together because they were some type of promise and so with them I think it says some type of place rather in a bus or in some type of like school I'm not too sure um, but what I see here is some type of place that will reunite the two of you. Perhaps it's a place you wanted to visit together or go to together. Or if you take the same bus over and over again, this could just be a sign that you will be starting to get closer or you should make a move towards this person that you have some attraction towards in this transportation tool or area. Because I'm not sure if that's a bus, but I feel it could be some type of symbolic place for the two of you. Let's see what will come with that connection. So blinds, okay, maybe one of you is not seeing this person, not wanting to see because you're still crying over 
um, some situation or some type of connection from the past. And so in order for you to be open, take your time to heal. So you can see this person is truly invested and they, they dream about you. They want to be around you. But some type of pain has to be healed because you might be feeling insecure or tuned to a lot of drama because of it. I just believe this person doesn't want to be in this, you know type of dynamic if you're still attached to an ex or crying over an ex or are not ready yet or you're still in that environment where there is a lot of you know playing full type of energy or always pretending always having a mask on and kind of playing with that and so it could be some type of insecurity they are not the one doing this i feel like this is your energy or your past energy and if this is in the past then you can be now attracting what you daydream about what you want what you desire what's actually valuable for you but this is to put in the past. You have to come at peace with it, to face yourself and face what is no longer aligning with what you promised, even yourself, to love or to attract or to get from a relationship. So anything that is on your mind is like, this is possible for me, or I want to get there, or I want to feel that connection, I want to feel that type of love, you are attracting, you are designing. And you have to know daydreaming is a very powerful technique to manifest your life. I know it seems crazy, but I'm sure you noticed in the past, you thought about somebody and they texted or appeared, or you thought about some type of fantasy and then this manifested, or a thing you wanted but you knew, well, I will possibly never get it, and that it showed up, then guess what? You did manifest it out of your daydreams and your thoughts. So your mind is fertile, but now you have to ask yourself, what is my mind set on? Is it set on pain, insecurities, dramas, or daydreams and love? And now that you know, okay, I have a choice and I can really adjust the way I think or perceive things, the way I act as well, because we have drama acting, you know. And so I can feel liberated and no longer insecure or no longer affected by my own inner drama I create or dramas I give importance to. And so I get affected by that. And there's something to become aware of. You're still blindfolded, limited. So the limitation, I think, is in the way you perceive things, the way you react to things. And so when you just realize, I am no longer my story and I will not actually feed up anymore the story, the pain, the past, the memories. Everything is completely over. You just entertain that thought so you make it live, you make it last. But if you never think about it or just brush it away as like, it's over. Like, why am I thinking about it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make me happy. So why should I just stick to it? Focus on what you want and daydream about it. You know, if you need to think thoughts, think positive ones, think loving ones, think about your dreams, think about the things you want to be building. Because this is what this person is doing right now. This person fantasizes about you because you're part of what they want. You're part of what they value. So you need to also understand what I value and prioritize that. Stick to it. The rest, address it and say thank you, but goodbye. Because we are no longer aligned. We are no longer attuning to each other. Because I do not want drama in my reality. I don't want to cry anymore. You know, the pain is over. And I should not feed it anymore. I deserve better than this. And I don't need to feel insecure about the past, the mistakes, the fears, limitations, things I couldn't do. Because today, I can do better if I want. I can be a complete different person. People blaming me, not seeing me with a blindfold. And always trying to target me as like, you know, I want to reach you so you can feel the pain with me it's over and if it's not over then say goodbye to these people if you're still talking to an ex or talking to somebody from the past that you know is always bringing drama or pain and suffering then that's your wake-up call that's telling you say goodbye because when you close that chapter this is when you can attract somebody 
that is a lot more positive that you dream about. So here I see seduction starting with you and your person. And you could see like starting to get closer, promising things to each other. So that shows you, have a, you guys have a bond. You guys are bonding and connecting beautifully. So of course seduction is starting and I'm sure you may feel it. And here I see a date. So it could be announcing a future date together, a very fancy date actually. So if you love to dress up and to look fancy and beautiful, this is what this person will love to do with you. And there we have playfulness. So dressing and undressing too <laughs> is what I can get here. But this person will bring so much fun. And this is why the drama is over, insecurities are over. Like you don't need to cry anymore because I'll bring so much happiness to you. Sounds you can see can be a wolf, butterflies, flowers and the cactus as well. Um, so the cactus talks about adaptability. The wolf can be someone who is a loner. loner. Um, butterflies can talk about transformation and flowers talks about blooming together, opening up to each other. So these are codes and symbols. Mirrors can talk about someone mirroring you or perhaps having a very similar past or similar pain. And perhaps that's because of it, that you attract each other. So you can heal together and look for something better. So seduction and playfulness are the cards for you. Having fun is really what I see the two of you wanting to experience. Like you don't want com complications. You don't want things that are torturous or heavy or too emotional. No, you want to have fun and start to, you know, go on dates and bond and just feel so much attraction with your person. Their gaze is going to be super attractive too. And of course, you can see looks or faces that might be similar to somebody. So you can recognize them, see them in the mirror, you know, the, the, the reflection pretty much. But yes, you can expect someone as this inner child or playfulness quite awakened. Let's see more about their personality. Because we saw a lot about you. We saw somebody who is a daydreamer or just very seductive too and playful. But let's see more about them extrovert and we have a drink here so perhaps going for a drink together could be a future date because we saw the fancy <laughs> fancy place restaurant possibly or some type of bar i don't know if that's a drink let's see next blessed and I'm sure you'll feel blessed to have this person because you've been dreaming of something better and then, you know, you offered that. But they're going to feel blessed as well to have you. You're attracting someone very popular, very attractive and a foodie person. So I mean, foodie, drinks. <laughs> they love to go out a lot. I mean, an extrovert is like that. They love to, yes, just hang out and have fun with the people they enjoy to be with and so they will just want to spend more time with you and just know they can be very popular they can have a lot of friends a lot of people around them um, or perhaps what they do as work or perhaps they're just popular at school if they're still studying but if they do something work related this could be something um, that isn't big inspiration for a lot of people so let's see more about your future together with couple cards. What can you expect? Let's see this one. Ooh, okay, so this could be a boss or you can be working together. If not, um, just a boss. So boss, CEO, business. Perhaps this is why they dress very fancy because even for work, they may just actually dress a certain way that makes them look very professional and sharp looking. And you are attracting the conqueror. That's why they are the one leading, especially the masculine here. They're the one leading, they're the one, they are the one wanting to conquer you, to seduce you. Even here you can see he's starting to just pull the their shirt off <laughs> so yes the attraction is quite crazy 
Um, but also that's someone still respectful in the way they make a move towards you. But this person wants to conquer you, to seduce you, to be the chosen one. And they want to be the one you look for if you need some type of support. That's why they are the boss, they're the leader, they are the one in charge in that relationship. Well, they want to be the one in charge, so the one you trust fully, so they can give to you. I see a strong masculine and healthy masculine energy here. You know, like I work on my business or I work on the things I dream, I want to develop, that's my goal. But I'm going to spend time with you, have fun with you, go on multiple dates with you and conquer you and show I'm here for you. I can bless you back, I can give to you. So I see a very generous um, person too as well. They love to go um, on dates and feed you. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel they have this type of dad energy. And even if that's a go, they can have a strong masculine essence. How can I focus on work when you look delicious? I mean, we saw the boss, so I'm not sure now if you guys work together. Um, but this person finds you super appetizing, as you can tell. And it's hard for them to focus. Unless, if not working together, um, you can be texting the person while they are at work or maybe when they study if they're not working. But it's hard for them to really focus on what's going on when they are trying to, I mean, when they are exchanging with you. Let's see. Let's escape and watch the moon together. A romantic person. <laughs> you know, enjoying the little, the little things, going to the beach together, looking at the sea, watching the moon. The full moon is coming up, so this could be a perfect time as well to bond and connect or to go out together, to go on a date. And with the waves, I see this as emotions too. So emotions coming and going. Perhaps this is really your emotional state. So you have to just address the drama, become more secure, more comfortable, and then really attune to the positivity. Because this person is your pillar. This person is really here for you and will listen to you and really you know, tell you it's going to be okay. Just focus on the, mo the moment. Focus on what she offered today. And so you can feel your best. Because if you, of course, always target what's not really going well, then you'll be crying over everything, really. I mean, over everything. <laughs> over what did not, you know, make you happy. So let's continue. I'm going to pick next the grid. So we can see their zodiac sign. And by the way, let me start first with the card. So we had air sign, fire sign, water sign and fire, uh, no, 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 earth sign. I mean, we have all of them, <laughs> but let's see more precisely some signs for you. Okay, so we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, and Cancer, Leo. I'm not sure if I said it, but just in case, I prefer to repeat it. <laughs> so let's see next, some letters and words. So here we can see your name, a place, appearing, some type of hints. So Aquarius again, Virgo. So for the letters, we have C, M, L, T, I. In the moment. And I told you, be in the present moment. So yes, they are telling you, be in the moment. L, C. Till. Me till the end. I don't know why, but I thought of centimeter. <laughs> Maybe their height is gonna be important. So sport, sassy, have, like or liked, day, I've liked you possibly. Rich and good, other words, or good day, sassy. Definitely someone who wants to reach out to you and have you, like you are the one I want. <laughs> That's really the, the energy I'm getting from the code here. So let's see any type of hints with the stickers about your person. Anything that needs to be revealed for you guys. Okay, that's a lot. 
So I see balance and stability in that relationship, someone being announced, someone you feel so much love and attraction towards, like, wow, like that's the one. Discovery, so getting to know each other is what I see as something that will come next. I think of you. I'm not sure, but maybe one of you is actually making researches on Google about this person. <laughs> or online, perhaps, uh, you know, some type of app or social media. Thanks. So I see someone thankful. Perhaps I see a concert. Rock and roll is what I see. Or someone just supportive as well here. Come closer is a message. I see a protector with the umbrella. Like they want you to feel your very best. They can be hiding at the moment, but they will come closer. And here, I'm sad. Yes, I could see one of you and, and to not say you, um, you still have a lot to process emotionally. But this person is being announced because you are ready for this love and you deserve this love. So please be open for that. They think about you. They want to get to know you. They want to spend more time with you and protect you. So, and I told you, you're you're attracting someone who's very healthy to be around. They have this strong masculine, um, like I want to take care about you type of person. So this is the reading. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to claim this beautiful love in the comments. Subscribe. Join the beautiful family if you're new here. If you want some personal guidance, the cards, the tools I use, everything is linked down below. So check it out. And I will see you guys on my next reading. Check my other ones appearing on the screen or on my channel because I have a lot of them. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.